Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Office Hours with the Professor. As always, I'm your host, William the Professor Gallus, and I'm excited to do a deep dive into an esports news topic that caught my eye this week. Um, but before we dive into this week's news topic, I have a tiny bit of an update on last week's news topic because I actually was curious enough about Coke launching a gaming soda that I went out and found a bottle of their first Coca-Cola Creations launch, Coke Starlight. I just wanted to see what Coke was doing in the space. And so it's actually an interesting thing that I discovered. Um, Coke Starlight, if you're curious, basically tastes just like regular Coke with a bit of added flavoring. Um, but I think it's a good exercise. I think it's gonna do well for Coke because it's basically treated as a marketing play. It has sort of a novel, relatively differentiated packaging, and it looks like it's getting out of aisle placement to sort of a specialty Coke at retailers. And to be honest, I think that's all Coke needs to do to drive incremental purchase. You know, otherwise Coke is a staid regular brand that you know what it tastes like and you know where it sits on the shelf in your convenience store or supermarket. Coke Starlight is a way to sort of make the product feel fresh, um, without reaching too far, and in a way that's relatively disposable. It can be cycled into the next Coca-Cola Creations brand, in this case, the upcoming gaming soda. But enough about last week's story. Let's go into this week's story. Um, I'm just going to dive right into it. The story I've picked for us this week is SK Gaming partnering with the NH Hotel Group. And what this means is basically SK Gaming is going to preferentially use the NH Hotel Group when they travel or for things like boot camps and stuff like that. That's essentially the, the whole story. There's a little bit more, but for our purposes, that's sort of what we need um, to get to the professor's reaction. What point do the partnerships between esports teams and sponsors just become so unrelated as to be relatively meaningless? And I think this is the partnership that called that into question for me. And here's why. I read this news story and I thought, I'm a gamer, right? Like, I like esports. Am I any more likely at all to stay in an NH Hotel Group hotel because SK Gaming is their partner? And the answer is no, I am not, right? This feels like a bridge too far. Certainly, the partnership probably makes sense for the team in the hotel. They get a little bit more marketing exposure, you know, when your pro players travel for a team they have to stay somewhere so certainly there's some synergies there at the brand level but at the consumer level I don't see any interrelation I don't care and I think this is the miss in sort of this news announcement and this partnership right is that there's so little relation between esports teams and hotels that unless one group is moving more towards the other as a consumer the connection is too much for me and it's not going to spur you know, feelings or purchase on my side, right? So I'll give you an example of this. SK Gaming is not saying they chose the NH Hotel Group because they're the best hotel for gamers with ultra fast internet, right? And extra wide desks that you can fit your gaming mouse on, you know? If that were the case, I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, if I'm traveling and I'm a gamer, it's good to know that that hotel chain is more, you know, is more gamer friendly, sure. And then vice versa, if this had been the hotel group, you know, if this had been SK Gaming saying, hey, we're going to be doing sustained activations at these hotels. We're going to have one player as, you know, I don't know, a gamer in residence for a week. You know, you can come and go do a meet and greet. Then I'd also be like, OK, I get that. If I'm traveling, it might be fun to see, you know, an SK Gaming Pro. I guess all hotels are a little bit the same anyway, past a certain price point. Why not visit? But the point is, Neither party is shifting. This isn't SK Gaming going more into hotels. And this isn't the NH Hotel Group really, at least as far as I can tell, making a bigger commitment to esports. It's sort of just there's a business relationship between these two entities. So there might as well be a partnership. And I think that that's fine, as I said, but it's not going to do anything for the consumer side. And this highlights to me when sponsorships just reach too far. So I give this story a C minus. I think it like I said, makes sense from a business perspective. I think it's going to do nothing for a consumer perspective until one party moves closer to the other party because it's just too much of a, a mental jump for me as a consumer to understand the relation between them. I just don't care. So C minus for this week's story, but don't worry. I'm hoping for some more great inflation next week on Office Hours. So please join me then. And thank you so much as always for listening.